A new experiment getting national attention shows that simply talking can leave droplets that linger in the air for eight minutes. It has renewed support for wearing masks. And today, 10 News reporter Rena Nakano tackles questions asked by viewers. There's a growing debate on the effectiveness of masks, but a new study shows small speech droplets can linger in the air for at least eight minutes, spreading germs, possibly including COVID-19. So local lawmakers have made wearing facial coverings mandatory when heading outdoors. But we found many of our viewers are struggling with this new norm, like this caller. Many, many people are wearing their face mask just over their mouth and not over the nose. The CDC recommends wearing facial coverings that cover both the mouth and nose. So when you wear it, hook the mask on your ears, pinch your nose and drag it down. They say the more protection, the better. Another popular topic, the fit. Scientists say gaps open up access for germs to travel to and from you, so a snug fit is essential. So what do you do when masks are too big? A simple hack, crisscrossing the ear loops can help with that. Many others complain about the irritation of ear loops, like this poster who asks, does anybody make cloth masks that loop around the back of the head as opposed to over the ears? Answer, a paper clip. Hook the sides to the ear loops and voila, you've made yourself a headband. Or you can sew buttons on a baseball cap and use those to hook the ear loops instead. My glasses fog up. Help. Quick tip, pinch your nose and place your glasses over your mask. Your nose piece should help block the fogginess. And perhaps the biggest concern comes from parents like this caller. My daughter, she doesn't like a mask on her face. County Health requires children older than two to wear masks. Don't have a kid size mask ready to go? No problem. Use clothespins over the head for a snug fit. Or you can easily fold, staple, and tape an adult surgical mask to make it fit smaller faces. Have kids decorate it. The more hands on, the more likely they'll want to wear it. And when going out, tell them you're going to a masquerade party. Hope that helps. Rena Nakano, 10 News. So many good tips there.